What's up guys? Uh, you've seen, if you've been following my dump trailer videos, you've seen me work on a couple different hydraulic pumps. Um, you've seen me select the one that I wanted to use. And now I'm gonna try and put all that together and make sure all the hydraulics function. So what we decided to use, I used the, um, the hydraulic unit off of that old pop-up trailer that came with this dump bed. I'm using the hydraulic line that came with the lift gate. If you watch the lift gate video, um, basically just a bunch of used stuff that I'm going to try and put together and work with the hoist that came with this dump bed as well. So we'll fit it all up and test it all out and see how it works. All right, here's what happens when I try and raise the dump trailer. <laughs> You can see it start to move just a little, and then it slowly sinks back down. I don't know if you can tell from the one holding the phone. See it bump up just a hair, and then sink back down. So it's like this relief valve is open, but I can't figure out why, because I just lifted it and lowered it, and it worked fine. Alright, I think I got this figured out. It was uh, the screen in this had sucked uh, the screen in the drop solenoid had sucked into the the solenoid itself and wasn't letting it snap shut. So now... It was actually cavitating a little there. It needs more fluid. Of course, I leaked half of it out on the ground there. And then... There's right here. The drop zone, the drop valve comes right back in. So it works. So I picked up a motor controller off of Amazon. This was relatively cheap, certainly in the nature of the budget of the project. And I will link to that in the description. And this is my first test with it wired into the solenoid and to the dump solenoid. So, seems like it's working. Alright, now let's see how it goes down. Looks like everything's wired up correctly and it's working fine. So as you can see here, I decided to mount the box with the lid facing up. I didn't do a video on this because it was pretty simple. The reason I decided to do that, this box has a drain hole in the bottom, so anything it gets in can get out. And if we ever need to work on the pump, or the battery uh, with the box like this I can easily get in here and lift them in and out and like leaner from work on it if I had put it the way it was in the other videos with the opening facing this way I would have had to like get down and try and get in there I had to pull the whole battery box out so this way everything just comes in and out that's what was my thinking uh, I'm gonna mount the uh, it's got a little bracket just to hold that which is nice um, in there I did some work on the wiring to put some better connectors on here I use these insulated right angle spades which need squeezed a little tighter feels like they're a little loose on there but anyway um, I've got the battery on my little DeWalt charger it's been on there overnight also I since I see it in this video go ahead and mention it I welded some long bolts on here just to hold the spare tire there on the edge of the bed out of the way it'll go up and down with the bed and shouldn't be a problem. So, let's give this thing a shot and see how it does. So here you can see, we use that long hydraulic line. That is going to be tied up out of the way so it's not hanging down like that. And I'm going to have to run 
some bracing from this cross member up to the front, probably. So when this is heavy and it has a load on it, all the force from this ram pushing up is gonna be pushing back on this cross member. And especially since the way that mount is, it's cantilevered up off that cross member, it's gonna be wanting to twist that cross member back so it'll flex it. So my plan is just to run some steel welded back from here into the front of the trailer. Um, it should hit it right here where it triangulates, so it'll be nice and strong, and it'll help it resist that uh, warping, which could end up cracking that cross member out. Even though it's very heavy steel, still a lot of force there when you got a bunch of weight on the bed. So that'll be one of the next projects. That'll be a separate video. Let's go ahead and see how this thing drops now. All right, I'm really happy with how that's working with the brand new Napa battery in here. It's cranking up really quick. I re replaced all the wiring with uh, with some of this, uh, this is one aught gauge cable. So it's got a lot of power. It, it's definitely lifting faster than it was before with everything rigged up temporarily. My um, hydraulic power unit here, the, le the cap on it cracked. So I took this uh, lug nut cover off of a a dually truck that I've been working on and it had mismatch covers and it just fits over there like that. I kind of bored the inside of it out. So gives it a little touch of chrome down there. And then uh, when I'm done, you can shut this lid and all that stuff is protected. This is gasket sealed. Like I said, it shouldn't get wet. If it does, there's a drain hole. Keeps it all neat and tidy. So I'm happy with how it turned out. I guess the next thing to do is um, the tailgate, the fenders, Brace that dump trailer and we'll see how it handles the load. So thanks for watching. This project is, you know, 85% done now. So I'm excited to see the end of it. If you like what you're seeing, like, share, subscribe. Um, there's a playlist I'm going to link to that has the rest of the videos on this. If you're a new viewer and you want to see the rest of how this project has come to fruition. Thanks guys. See you on the next one.